Good morning, welcome to the Dog Man channel. We are outside. It's gonna be a nice 70 degree day. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. We've got a lot of work needs to be done. First thing I want to get on, and this may be all I do today, but that little cubby hole where I ran the uh, electrical through the other day, I need to put a floor slash ceiling in. Uh, I need to cut that piece of decking board so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, but I want that to kind of meet up to this deck. So looks like that 2x4 that's going across the house there, probably going to have to go higher than that. And, uh, well, I don't know. We may not go any higher than where that wall starts. I also need to get insulation put in there and get that covered up as well. I do got some pieces of T111 laying over there and uh, they're not the best but they'll do for that good morning Libby. good morning waddles i see you out there it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood folks beautiful day all right let me get some tools drug out and we'll get going now tomorrow i'm gonna pick up a probably a two by ten to go across this like i have this deck board set on and that'll be just right if you want to put some bar stools there or something. That would be just about the right height. That's also going to keep water from pouring down in there. I also have to put another piece of flashing there. I've just got this up here to keep water from going down in that T111. And uh, that's worked pretty good. But it ain't permanent. It's just an old deck board. And yeah, everything's pretty good up here on the deck I don't see any boards rippling up or you know as the next summer comes these gaps will shrink up obviously so I put them together like that of course I couldn't get them all the same I'm just it's it's a miracle I was even able to do this but uh, these things are gonna get easier all right man let's get going good morning Mr. Doodle I see you're out bright and early. Did you have your coffee? Yeah, I made an omelet. You didn't get an omelet? Oh, I'm sorry. We got these wild monsters. All right, let's go back here. See what we gotta do here from a different viewpoint. Oh, let's shut this piece of fence. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Uh, Cause I don't wanna have to do that every five minutes. All right, last time we were in here, I installed that uh, PVC with the electrical through it. Now I need to do the plumbing. As you can see, this is a very narrow space. It's probably a little bit over two foot wide. So very tight working quarters. What we want to do today is uh, put a ceiling on. I can see there, that is a two by six. Uh, I could probably go on top of that. I don't know. But that floor kind of needs to be the same level as the deck. Or the ceiling. Well, let me see what I got for scrap. This, this doesn't have to be beautiful. I'll put my uh, joist maybe 24 inches uh, apart. You know. And I've got that old T111. We'll just use that for a ceiling. But I need this enclosed. Uh, it, it is covered. It's not going to leak in here. No water has gotten in here. I do need to insulate that. And I've got that foam board I'll use that for. And then we need to get some kind of a door right up there um, and close that off. So I'm gonna start dragging out the tools, get some measurements and climb up here on the ladder, see what we gotta do. And I'll be back. And I wanted to show you guys, in case you're wondering why I did not bring out the dog apartment all the way to meet the house in this section well look here this is why this is horrible this poor excuse of a foundation it goes every which way it's not level it goes down to nothing in that corner so this was the only option the way to do that so all right first thing i'm gonna do i got my tape measure i'm gonna go up here We'll get some measurements. We're going to get the insulation in there and we're going to get the T111 on top of that. All right, let's get moving. 
I ain't got time to sit here and, and, and BS. All right, I've got that insulated. Now I'm going to go cut a piece of T111 to put on there. It's only going to come to about here, and then I need to I kind of need to leave this alone for now because I still got to put in, I got to get the camera up there. I'm to leave this alone for now because I'm going to, uh, I got to put the plumbing through yet. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm doing that yet, so we'll leave that part off. That'll be nothing to do. But I've got these insulated, and let me go cut that piece. Then we'll see what we can do with that side. Three, two, one. Jumpin' Jack Flash, it's a gas gas gas. Jumpin' Jack Flash, it's a gas gas gas. Can't think any other words right now. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Get on up here. Who's holding it? Oh, that old styrofoam. Well, that'll do. I ain't looking for purdiness. I'm looking for usefulness. <sighs> and wouldn't you note it, I didn't bring the drill with me. <laughs> oh, up and down I go. Dad, burn it. We all doing up in there. How'd y'all get up in there? <sighs> now, let me shimmy on up. Happen to have the drill this time. That would have helped have it last time. Well, it's a good thing I'm not gaining weight. Because I sure wouldn't have much room. Crap in the way. Get on my way. All right. Got screws in the pocket. And I forgot that knife. Uh, get on out of here. Stood. And stood. Come on up. Oh. Now let's get it set. Doesn't have to be purdy in here. Use the closet. Oh, I missed it. How in the hell? Stud's right there. Gotta be, I'm looking at it. Uh, Ellen, what? Ever. gonna be a wasp's paradise in here man. Libby hush. I don't know why that screw's not hitting. Huh, I don't know. What the hell? Stud right there, man. 
not coming over far enough. I give up. Of course there's a stud there. Ah, uh, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm filling the stud. It's right there. I want the screw go in it. This is weird. Okay. I'm over too far, I guess. Oh, I give up, man. <laughs> what? What the hell? Let me crawl up here some more. I can't understand what's going on. I just don't understand it. None. Oh, that stands way over there. My depth perception is not very good right now. Wasted 500 screws. Alright guys, I pretty much got to go in here, do what I got to do, and then, then film it to show you because it's just too small of a space to get any tripod or anything in here. Okay, I, I hung a uh, joist up on this side for the new roof that's going up. And uh, actually this is, I'm going to probably end up boxing part of this off. There's no sense in this little cubby hole coming all the way back in here. I'm going to box this off for the plumbing. Let me show it. And the electrical uh, once I get the so what I'm gonna do now is I got a can of great stuff I'm gonna go around any gaps I see I'm gonna fill those in like in this corner anywhere that needs it and then I'm gonna start cutting the, the boards to go across here and we're gonna cut some scrap plywood and put some sort of floor in here and we're gonna work on getting this sealed off to the you know so it's not not getting exposed to the weather. All right, I'll be back when I get a little further. What in the name of Charlie Chaplin is going on over here? You guys think I put those boards down for you? Miss Melly, you can get back on there. But I'm going to be needing some of that in a little bit, Melly or Tilly. You're so silly. Look at you. Is that very cozy or are you Miss Plywood Girl of the Year? Is that who you are? You're so goofy. And there's Miss Melly. As soon as the camera come out, she had to flee. And Miss Libby. Three troublemakers all right here. Okay, I've got that. I, guess I, I got that uh, rough. Got the joist framed in there. So all I got to do is lay some plywood on top of that. It's going to have a little drop. I decided not to go all the way level with that. No, no reason for that. Because I'm not going to be walking in here. I'm just going to be tossing maybe some chairs, outdoor stuff, get it out of the way. I was going to frame up a door, but I need to get this plumbing done. That is the next step. And then I can just button everything else up, build a door frame, take this stuff off here, build a door frame, uh, get all this stuff looking better. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start doing the plumbing. It's a nice warm day. Peck shouldn't be too hard. So let's go. Do 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 do
Got to have a good duty do before plumbing. You don't duty do before plumbing, it's going to go to pooty poo. All right, we've got the cold water run through. I've got a little extra cut off. Let me get this red. This red's going to be a tough one, I'm going to bet. Trying to leave this band on so it doesn't all unravel on me. All right, let's see. This stuff's still not very pliable. All right, I'm going to take some dish soap. I ain't going to fight this. Let's just run some dish soap on it. Slicker down. Get on up here. I got to find the right spot. Yeah, it's a tight squeeze, man. <laughs> now my hands are so slippery. Uh, I'm gonna have to break this. I can't deal with that. Hands are so slippery, I can't push the little pegs. Get on down there. I may not be able to get this through. Man, that's aggravating. Get out of there. Needs, here's what I need, right? Yeah. A glove. All right. Please go. Oh, that's tight, man. I gotta get up on this washer. So I've got to hold. <sighs> the pipe wants to push out on me. I gotta have my right hand with the glove. Hell no. There it goes. The animus. Mommy, how do you know when it's there? You just know. Well, I'm going to tell you to go because, uh, let me go through it. It should be through by now. I did not want to have to cut another hole in the house. That scared me to death when that was burning that up. Y'all right. hang right there. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For a throw. Actually, I can pull it back a few inches. I see you peeking out the out there wall, though. Okay. Let's cut this dude. All right. I don't know if y'all can see. I got an existing cold water line here. Existing hot water. I'm going to change these around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get it dry fit right now. And then we'll disconnect these, do whatever we got to do. But right now, I want to get it run. And that's what we're doing. Now, I got a lot left. This stuff's been sitting around for months. All summer. All right, you see right there. I'll turn this radio down. Got the water right through there with the same way. This is not code, guys. I would imagine it's not. But that, that PEX is never going to burst. You know, that is 10-2 uh, south wire that you bury. It is not going to get wet. If it, even, if, if it ever did, it doesn't matter. It ain't going to get wet. But that's how I run it. So now I'm going to be... You know, it's, I'm going to have to build some kind of a junction box for both of them up here because that's kind of screwy. That'll actually push back a little bit. And uh, 
that way I can tee down my plumbing inside the uh, two by fours there. In fact, we may start doing that here in a minute. All right. All right. Now I'm getting ready to run the PEX to the washing machine gizmo, which didn't have any instructions because Waldo ate the box. Yeah. Caught him with it the other day. Of course, the instructions usually are inside, but no, these are on the box. So, yeah, I, I know how these operate. Just a little bit above the washing machine. I'm going to get some 2x4s and sturdy them up. Or I just want to place it where it needs to go. Uh, I tried pushing that PVC back in hopes I could drill through this stud and maybe elbow down, but I'm not going to be able to do that, so... I'm going to have to elbow in front of the wall and push it back in here. And I've already got my holes drilled. I don't remember doing it, but I guess I did. Got my holes drilled for the plumbing already. You ate my washing machine gizmo box. What do you got to say for yourself? Huh? You don't care. It's supper time. What if I just say, hey, I'm going to wait an extra half hour. What would you think of that? He don't care. All right, yeah, this is a pretty cheesy uh, thing here, but once the wall board's on, it'll hold, you know, it'll go in front of this, but I'm going to, I'm going to run two by four across the back of it, I guess, maybe one back here. That's too cheesy. Of course, I didn't have any instructions, so I'm just guessing that's how that goes. Do you know, did you read the instructions before you chewed them up? Billy, that, none of that's for you. None of that stuff up there is for you. All right, we're going to eat. All right, this short one today. We're going to go ahead and leave it off here. We'll pick up tomorrow with the plumbing. Should be able to finish that up in an hour, I'd say. And get her hooked up. And then maybe the next day, move the washer and dryer. Well, we'll see. I've got I've got some floor work to do in there before we do that. But at least get the water for the spigot because i'm tired of messing with that pole out there that temporary thing i got all right guys we'll see you on the next one happy trails